Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to talk about the Philadelphia Eagles versus the Los Angeles Rams 2023 season week 5 matchup and the Eagles get the win 23-14. to I'm going to be talking about the score, I'm going to be talking about what the Eagles did, what they needed to do to improve and my next game next week's preview against the New York Jets. So... What I like about it is that the Eagles, what they did offensive line, I have to give them a good shout out to them because they did their job at getting Aaron Donald today. The right, the backup right guard getting Aaron Donald, he did a great job. They didn't, Aaron Donald did not get into, uh, didn't make any stops, didn't get any sacks or anything. They contained him. They did a great job in containing him and Again, AJ Brown had another great game of three. Another, this is his third game he has over 100 yards receiving, and he, he's been playing well. Gene Hurts played well. The whole team played well. The defense got things shut down in the second half by not letting up a touchdown. So it was a good overall win. I am pretty satisfied. I wish they could do some more running with the, but you know, with the, with. Uh, like Devontae Smith more. I mean, Devon, Devontae Swift, but overall, I like satisfied. I was concerned about the second day, but the second day did its job in the second half, but need to do it for fourth quarter, so, so let's get into it. Total yards for the Eagles, 454. Rams with 249. Eagles had three pounds, which is good. Rams had five. 35 pound yards for the Eagles. Uh, Rams had 48. Eagles had three, seven minutes and 55 seconds for the clock. Rams had two or five. Passing Jail Hurts, 25 3. That needs to go down a bit more. We need to give him more carries to Devontae uh, Swift. One touchdown and the one interception. Matthew Stafford, 21 37, 222. Two touchdowns, no turnovers. Jail Hurts, 15 carries, 72 yards, and the touchdown due to the brother's job. <laughs> Devontae, um, DeAndre Swift, 17 carries, 7 yards, and a touchdown. Ken Game was 17. Was 7 carries for 17 yards. Williams, 13 carries, 53 yards, and a touchdown. Rivers, 1 carry with 1 yard. A.J. Brown, 6 catches, 127 yards. Dallas Gar, eight catches, 117. Welcome. He finally woke up and got production out of it uh, with a touchdown. Devontae um, Swift. I think I'm saying DeAndre Swift. I'm going to say Devontae Smith, but it's so confusing. DeAndre Swift, six catches, 30 yards. Kevin Gale caught a pass for seven. Devontae Smith caught one for six. Quest Rock, two for four. And. <clears throat> Stole with one catch for four. Cooper Cup, welcome back to him. He got a good game. Um, it's eight catches for 818 yards. Not cool. Seven catches, 71 yards. A touchdown. Hey, Bay, two for 20. Atwell, two for nine. And Willis, two for four. Okay, going to the scoring summary. As the Eagles strike first with a six yard pass to Dallas Yard, made it seven nothing. And Atwell caught a three yard pass from Matthew Stafford, made it seven to seven. Jay Gill with a 34 yard field goal, made it 20 to seven. Uh, not, not cool, but something I can't pronounce it. 22 yard pass from Matthew Stafford, made it 22 to 14 late at the end of the half. With the brotherly shove, E Rock push, I call it. <laughs> uh, Jalen Hurts with a one yard run, making it a 17 14 at the half. And two field goals in the fourth quarter from Jake Elliott, both 26 yards, and they're all good. And which makes the score 23 to 14, which concludes that. Okay, going to get some more stats going to the defensive side here. Once my tablet loads up, okay. First downs, the Eagles were 28. First downs, three and 17. 12 by rushing, 13 by pass, 3 by penalty. 
uh, ranked well, two by rushing, 13 by pass. Third, uh, third down, Eagles were very good on third down, 13 from 18 and 72 percent, and the range was 16 for 14, which is okay, not bad, but could be needs to be better. Okay, going defensive side of the ball, Eagles, Reed Blankenship with seven tackles, come on, and Morrow with five tackles, Slay with four tackles, Jalen Carter with four tackles and two sacks. Evans with four tackles, Kanye with four tackles, Sweat with three tackles, Bradbury with two tackles, Hassan Reg with two tackles and two sacks. They were back to back late in the game. Two key ones right there. Uh, he's starting to get uh, now his throws up to three sacks. Uh, Williams with two tackles, Kim. Ricks with two tackles, Shrew with one. Robbie with one, um, Goins with one, Smith with one, and Davis with one. So, going to the Rams side, Jones with 15 tackles, uh, Full with 12 tackles, Kendrick with 8 tackles, uh, Hodgson Hodger, with 6, Rose Boom with 5, Turner with 5, Geese with 5, Durant with 5, Witherspoon with five in the interception. He made a good play in a weird pass. Brown with four. Williams four. Don with Aaron Don with three, four tackles combined, but he did not get any sacks. They pretty much contained him. No pass rush from him. Uh, Van Velkberg with three and a sack. So they did give up one sack in the game. Munchen with two, Young with two, and Lake with one. Player of the game for me, I will have to say AJ Brown for offense and defense. What I will have to say will be a solid wreck with the back to back sacks. The key points of that game was the sacks. Okay, now the question now you're facing a different team. You're facing the other New York team going into week six at New York. You're Placing the Jets. No Aaron Rodgers due to a torn ACL. You got Zach Wilson and you also got Sauce Gardner, who's going to be mostly probably going to be covering AJ Brown. So the question is, he's gonna, how's he going to cover AJ Brown? This is a question. How's AJ Brown going to get open against Sauce Gardner? Who's he, can this be a good matchup with the Jets? I think the Jets can hang with the Eagles. Don't count them out yet. Do not count them out. They came off the win against Denver. So do not count the Jets out. They de the Jets did beat Buffalo in week one. So, that like, so you can't count the Jets. So I would say with the Eagles and their offensive line, they were focusing on running the ball more with the ball, with uh, DeAndre Swift. Let her do his thing, but no turnover for him. Less penalties. Uh couple of touchdowns I can see. I can see the brother push come into play as well. It's going to be interesting to see what, what the matchup is. It's going to be uh, A.J. Brown versus a Sauce Garner or Devontae Smith versus a Sauce Garner. So times where they line up. I like to see Devontae Smith get more involved probably next week's game. I like to hit get more targets plus with A.J. Brown and plus Dallas Garner. It's going to be interesting to see how that. Those guys go against that, that Jets defense. Don't count the Jets. They have a good defense. I could see this being a 10-point game. I could see this being a 10-point game. I would say 34-24. That type of type of thing. 34-24 type of game. Because you can't count the Jets. Zach Wilson has experienced quarterback. You cannot count this. That's up and then again. Who knows? But we'll have to wait and see. I'd say it's a 10-point game. At least 34-24 in my opinion. But... We'll have to wait and see. But the Eagles are rolling there, five of them. They're tied with the 49ers. It's going to be interesting to see those two teams clash later on this year. But we're on to week six. It's another 425 game. It's in in New Jersey in MetLife Stadium. So it's going to be interesting to see. Eagles two teams clash. But I think the Eagles can get the W. But anything could happen. But cannot, do not count the Jets. So. Anyway, that's my thoughts on week five for if Jay Talks for the Peakers Football 2023 season. If you like this, please like, please comment, and also 
Please subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it. Like, thank all my subscribers for subscribing, liking, commenting, sharing, and viewing. Without you, I won't be doing these. So, thank you, everybody. Hope you have a safe and wonderful Monday. And I'll see you next time. Take care. Stay safe. Stay humble. And be a blessing.